Nick here with us from the Emerald Wranglers. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm uh, doing pretty good. So last time we talked, the Emerald Wranglers, they were gearing up for a big playoff push. Yep. Turns out it worked out pretty well because yep. you're now in the first <laughs> round of playoffs. Got a home game coming up this weekend. Yep. I mean, first off, what do people need to know about how big this game is for the team? Yeah, it's huge. I uh, went to uh, Oklahoma City for the first couple of games, and they're actually the, the regular season champions. So they put up 44 wins this year. So that was oh. best of all 29 teams across the entire league. So they got off to a quick start there at home, and their, and their crowd was buzzing. And now we get an opportunity to come back where uh, we played very well at home this year. And, you know, I was talking to the coach yesterday our, during our coaches' show. He's very happy with how the guys have responded this week during the week of preparation, is expecting a pretty big bounce back Friday night. I mean, that's exciting for sure. So coming home, got this, yep. you know, playoff stand here. You got to win a game. Yep. So you're going to have this home team. You're talking about how good, you know, this other team, this Oklahoma City team, how good their home crowd was. But you were telling mm -hmm. us how good the Amarillo home crowd was. Oh, You've yeah. had some sellouts oh, and stuff. Yeah. And apparently y'all are sweetening the deal for the home crowd this Friday, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, just kind of an overall Amarillo. We had the uh, second best attendance in the entire league. Um, awesome. And so, I mean, we're averaging close to 3,000 people a night. But, yeah, our last home game uh, to close out the regular season, we had a sellout. Um, and so over 4,800 people were there in attendance. And so, yeah, we're trying to get that going again tomorrow. And, yeah, Yay. sweetening the deal a little bit. Of course, in playoff hockey, you've got to have the, the rally towels, of the course. playoff towels. Unfortunately, I didn't bring one with me this morning. That's I don't know okay. what I was thinking. Yeah. But, okay. yeah, we're going to have about 800 uh, rally towels to give Very away. Nice. And then some uh, nice uh, custom Amarillo Wranglers playoff T-shirts that, uh, um, you know, some lucky fans who get there first. So we're, we're doing a couple of giveaways, a big tailgate at the Ice Ranch. We'll have a live band again. It's been phenomenal uh, this season having the, the bar over at the Ice Ranch and some pregame parties over there and then head on over to the uh, Civic Center. So, yeah, it's going to be a really fun atmosphere, and uh, we're going to have a great crowd. I know these, uh, these uh, players really deserve it, and so I, I know we're going to have another big crowd on Friday. Oh, that sounds awesome for sure. So, I mean, when everybody show up for that, you know, come support the Wranglers, everything on Friday, because this is a this is a must-win game. Yep. And this is going to, I think, it's going to be a really big game for, you were telling us, a couple of players, because got up some pretty high-caliber players there oh. at the Wranglers. <laughs> and unfortunately, after the season, regardless how it goes, they're going to be moving on to bigger and better yep. things. Can you tell us a little bit about the college commitments? What yeah. does that really mean for you, hockey players? Yeah, you know, it's always tough, especially, you know, coaches or for the billet families, the fans, and myself, especially when I travel with these guys. It's tough to see them move on from Amarillo, but they're doing so for a great cause. We've got eight college commitments so far this year. Three guys committed to Army West Point. We got Air Force, um, and then uh, one of our defensemen just committed to uh, Miami University there in Ohio, which is a big Division One program. And so, yeah, um, you know, there's always a chance that maybe Friday night is those guys' last game in Amarillo. We don't want to think about that. That's right. Yes, they're going to get the win. We'll play Saturday. It's going to be the first well. many home games. Exactly. Coming up. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. Um, we've had a, a lot of really talented players come through, and this is only our second season as an organization. We already have 22 college commitments between these first two years, um, and you know that's tough to do for you know a new franchise, a new organization. But they've done a phenomenal job, and yeah, this year with eight more college commitments, that's that's been a pretty nice. There's one of them right there, Pierce Patterson, who is uh, going up to uh, Army West Point in the fall. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Definitely wishing them the best of luck in that. Yeah. So, got this coming up Friday night. You know, like like I said, they're they're down right now. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean they're out. Yep. They got to win this Friday night. So just tell everybody one more time. I mean, what do they need to know? When do they need to be there? What 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 do you want people to bring to a Wranglers game? I mean, come on. Yeah, just bring all the excitement. Yeah, um, you know, we can start over at the Ice Ranch. We're we're starting around four thirty five o'clock for the kind of pregame tailgate and everything. Uh, doors open at six over at the Civic Center. Puck drop at seven fifteen. Um, and yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to have those rally towels, some free t-shirts. So we'll have all the swag for the, for the fans coming yeah. in, but yeah, just bring all your energy and, you know, and bring a loud voice because, uh, those Oklahoma players, they're, they're not going to like, uh, hearing that, that massive crowd here in Amarillo's. They, they got a small rink there in OKC, so they can only fit about a thousand in okay. their rink and, you know, we can do that four times. And so, Very nice. so I, th I think it's going to be an intimidating uh, atmosphere for those guys to walk into tomorrow night. All right, that's <laughs> awesome. Allie, I think we got to go see a hockey game this weekend. Yeah. Okay, really? I mean, <laughs> listen, keep it going. Yep. I'll, tell us the number again on the home crowd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, overall, we were second best in the whole league. But yeah, uh, the last time we were home, we had 4,870 fans in attendance the last home game. Yay. So hoping to, to repeat that uh, tomorrow night. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, good luck and thank yeah. you. And come back. Don't, don't oh, forget about us. Yeah. I mean, I, I know y'all are 
Y'all are going to win, and we want you to bring the trophy. I hope we can bring the trophy. There we go. Oh, oh, no doubt. Wouldn't no that doubt. be fun? Yeah, I think that'd be great. All right. You know, it's happened uh, once before back in 2019. Amarillo was down two games to none. Mm -hmm. They lost both games at home. They went on to win three straight, moved on to the uh, South Division Finals. So yes. similar now, but we have home, you know, the home ice the, this weekend. And so hopefully that'll get the uh, the mojo cooking a little yeah. bit for the guys. There we go. got to support. Yes. And, and listen, I just... Get your shirt. Get oh, whatever know, yeah. you have. But don't don't worry about a, you know if you don't get a rally <laughs> towel, just get whatever you have. Exactly, you exactly. Go. We've got some good uh, playoff merch. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> Sheldon. Thank you, y'all. Listen, great. I'm excited now. Yeah. Got me. Yeah. Got me ready to go. There we go.